Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This morning, I'm working on putting another uh, pinion seal in the OC12 differential. Now this is the spacer that rides on that pinion seal and you can see it had some orange paint on the outside of it here. This whole area was covered with paint so I took some brake cleaner and some sandpaper and a wire brush and I cleaned it up. However, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this on camera. Do you see this pitting? And then there's like a couple of scratches on here. That's probably what's causing that leak because that's where the seal rides is right there. So I was looking at this to see if it's directional and I don't believe it is. It looks the same from both sides. So I'm going to flip it so that the pinion seal rides right here rather than in this pitted area right here. I'm also going to put a small bead of RTV around this area because the bearing inside the uh, nose cone there that's on the pinion, um, there's, no, there's no seal whatsoever. Or maybe I'll put a bead of it around the inside of it here against the axle, but there's nothing in there to stop oil from getting out from the actual inside of this and then getting all the way through to the... Um, outside of the pinion seal so it basically just comes through right like this um, also the pitting was probably part of the problem too so I'm gonna doll this up and slam it back together and hopefully that'll fix some of the issues we're having back there <laughs>
it, guys. I think this is going to be it. Um, I put in seven quarts of ATF. That should be enough to get the system balanced out. Uh, once the oil pump picks all that up out of the pan and distributes that through everything, the cooler and the filter and the lines and everything. Um, I was trying to bleed the air out of the cooling system with the uh, Eberspotcher, but that's not going to work. I'm going to have to start the motor up to do that. So, uh, a couple of things are going to have to happen at the same time here. I'm going to have to try to bleed the cooling system and get the uh, transmission pump primed. So, the fuel tank was not connected, so I don't know if the motor is going to start up right away. I would hope that it doesn't. I would like it to crank for a little bit to try and get some uh, transmission fluid primed through all the uh, passageways and whatnot. I did not connect the drive shaft. I didn't connect the drive shaft because I want to make sure that we actually have movement and then it's going through the gears and I can tell by looking at that and the RPM on the on the gauge there to see uh, what exactly is going on but uh, I think we're at that point where it is time to bring Rusty back to life and fingers crossed nothing grenades itself or destroys itself here on this startup and uh, I guess we'll just see how it goes I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to film start uh, we'll have to prime the system here and then try again but I think I got it uh, spun up enough that we can um, be sure that there's actually transmission fluid in there now that's gone through the system a little bit hopefully fingers crossed Breakers popped there because I was running the starters for too long. So I had to reset the breakers. Let's try this again. guys there's a couple things going on here my engine rpm or my tachometer stopped working so i screwed up the wiring over here somehow i don't know how i did that all i did is add the uh, vehicle speed sensor number two also the pan the oil pan for the transmission got sucked dry so apparently i didn't put in enough to cover the torque converter and the cooling lines and the cooler and all that so i'm adding some more now to see if we can get any uh, motion out of the 
um, drive shaft in the back. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do next. All right, guys, it ended up taking 11 quarts of fluid to top it off. So I don't know where all the fluid's going. That seems pretty high to me, but the manual calls for 7.8, I believe. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Check it out. Noisy little bugger. <laughs> I'm really happy that uh, this is working now. I was really nervous there when I first started it up and nothing's rotating. I'm like, holy crap, please, 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 please do something. At least do something. So, and I did uh, test that to see if it's just rotating, you know, under a little bit of pressure but I put my foot on it and it's it's going to move that drive shaft just fine so hopefully I don't have to add any more ATF it just really seems high to me but I don't know maybe there's an extra three quarts in this whole mess right here and the filter and all that stuff so we'll see but I think that's enough work on Rusty for today I'll have to figure out that RPM gauge issue here another time uh, I'm just happy that I got it to this point so if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet I'd love to have you as a subscriber stay tuned for a uh, test video coming up but as always guys hope you're staying safe take care of each other and I'll catch you next time see you later bye bye